Um, yeah, I, wanna, I hope you guys will have uh, another great day ahead. And uh, I want to invite up the stage the one and only wrestler who can't, uh, who can win from anyone. Actually, sorry, I was walking with. Actually, if there's anyone who wants to wrestle this guy, <laughs> um, go up, to, go up to him, and we do it a bit later in the park. Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, please. Right, I'll wrestle to you later. Hey, <laughs> great, Quinn. The floor is yours. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Roland. You're the man. <laughs> Thank you. You're the man. <laughs> you want to have some? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Queen. Greetings. So, first off, I want to say Roland is the most stylish man here besides me. He is so cute. Yeah. His little outfits. Thanks. Thanks. And yes, if anyone wants to wrestle, I would love for that to happen. Uh, I really feel like it's a, a really good test uh, of the self and it helps keep me young. So that's great. Um, I really am super, 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 super grateful to be here. So thank you guys so much. Like, I love, I love you, I love Steam It so much. Like I am like a like a real steam it cheerleader. So like I don't know if you realize what's happening right now, but like I made this specifically for Steam Fest, right? And this is yeah. And this is a uh, hundred percent leather of which is salvaged leather. Right, this is salvaged from the trash. And I don't know if any of you know who I am or what I do, um, but I founded what I call the Garden of Eden. It's a sustainable community about nine years ago, and it's the most sustainable operation that I've ever seen. And it's a huge, huge, huge passion for me. Um, and Steam It is like the number two besides that. And like this is a culmination, right, of, of, my, of my passion and my love, which is about as sustainable a uh, piece of garment as you can possibly ever get. Because this is not, um, this is even more sustainable than if I were to go out into the woods with a bow and kill an animal and skin it myself. Like this is literally salvaged and harvested from the trash. And it's re-pieced, it's re-pieced and put back together. And it's got, you know, the steam, the steam. <laughs> and man, check it out, so. The new logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Well, yes and no, and actually no, because like I really love Steam It, but the real truth is, is Steam It doesn't exist without Steam, right? And the real power is actually Steam. The real power is actually Steam, and even Ned is, you know, talking about how you know he wants to do all these, you know, uh, you know, smart tokens and things like that. Those smart tokens are built on Steam. Steam It is built on Steam, right? Steam It doesn't exist without Steam, and None of us get paid without steam, right? So steam is actually still the real power, right? Steam is still, yes, exactly, steam power. So in a way, it was like, it was hilarious and horrible in, in one way, you know, because like I've made, you know, probably close to 100 different handmade, you know, one-of-a-kind, unique steam gear pieces, and this is like, you know, the coolest one in my mind, uh, which was been working on for days and days and days. Like, honestly, like, in a way, I'm almost like barely standing right now. Like, I haven't slept more than a couple hours in a week and a half. Um, and I was working on this for days and days and days before coming here. Um, and yes, so steam it.
right? Steam it is amazing, and it's built on Steam. Uh, this guy's wearing some Steam gear right now. And when the logo changed, it was like, oh my God, oh God, I've got all this Steam gear, you know, and now it's the logo's changed, and I had no idea. And it was kind of a blow, it was a little bit of a blow, but then I was like, Steam it is built on Steam. You know, and it's still, it's still, it's still perfect, it's still okay. And at a bare minimum, at least now this is an antique. <laughs> right, and if we ever needed a good example of how fast the crypto world changes, what's Bitcoin at right now? Yeah, right? So if we ever needed an example, you know, here it is, this is already, I, this was made, you know, a couple, couple days ago, and now it's an antique. So that's the way crypto goes, that's the way, you know, the modern tech world goes, and that's great because we're evolving and we're progressing so quickly, right, which is fantastic. I love that because I love to just go, 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 go. Yes. So I really love Steemit, and um, I found out about Steemit, I don't know, probably sometime around August, July, August uh, 2016, and funny enough, I heard about it on Facebook. And some guy was like, oh, yeah, have you ever heard of Steam It? Like, there's people making like $1,000 for, for these makeup posts or blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what? So, you know, I went on, and as soon as I started researching, as soon as I started looking uh, at Steam It, I just was immediately, I was just like, I fell in love. Like, I really did. I was just inspired. And honestly, I don't like most things. I don't like most people. Like, I'm normally pretty disappointed all the time. Um, and that's why I built the Garden of Eden, right? I built the Garden of Eden because at one point in time I wanted to kill myself, actually, for years on end. I was just so depressed and I hated life so much I wanted to die. And I built the Garden of Eden because I had to create something that was actually worth living for. And um, Steam It, to me, is just, it's, it's one of the greatest things that I've ever heard of, that I've ever seen. And I really believe that it has the potential to revolutionize the whole world. I really believe that. I really believe it has the potential to do that. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, and, you know, yes, it's true that... Um, Part of the reason why I initially researched Steam was because I could get paid, right, for doing what I was doing on Facebook. And it's like, so it's really funny because this guy that had mentioned this that made me research Steam it, you know, he did, you know, Steam for a little while. He made like, you know, a dollar or something, a couple dollars on his post. You know, he kind of gave up on the whole thing. As so many people do, and it's so weird because it's like, do you realize that if you make 10 cents on your Steam it post, that that's 10 cents more than you've ever made on Facebook? You know, and it's just, it's, it just it blows my mind. And Steam It and the Garden of Eden are, are like two very similar things in a way because it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's here, like it's here, it's available. Like everything, everything we could ever need already exists. Really, really, everything we could ever need already exists. Like, do you realize that the annual military budget of the United States is enough money to feed every single person in the entire world for free for a year? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's like, I kind of want to cry right now, you know? I just like, ah. You know, it's like, it's so, it's so hard because it's that, it's that easy. It really is. Like everything we could possibly need, it already exists. Everything, everything we could ever need already exists. You know, and Steam It is like this new, you know, this new example, this new representation of that truth. Right? Like Steam It could provide for all of us. You know, what if we had 7 billion people on Steam It? like we do Facebook. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if, I mean, like, 
in the United States right now, if you put your money in a bank account, you get like less than 1% interest return on that. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. If you put, if you put money into Steemit, like... You know, maybe not everyone's going to like it, but the fact is, is you can vote 10 times a day. And you can just make a post and make a comment on that post, and you can just upvote that, and you can literally pay yourself with your own investment every single day. Right? And I'm not saying that everyone should do that, but my point is, is that you are putting, you're putting an investment in the Steemit, and it's paying you every single day. And if you want to, if you want to, you can support somebody like me or the Garden of Eden with that vote. And it costs you nothing. It costs you nothing. You just make click, a couple seconds, click, click, click. And the more steam power you have, the more you're giving, the more you're giving. You know, this gift economy, the gift economy is so powerful. It's so, oh my God, it's so powerful. At the Garden of Eden, we feed, you know, 20, 30, 40,000 free meals a year. And we do that without any grants, without any government funding, without any rich private benefactors. Um, I haven't worked for you know, the man or a job or a boss in 15 years. Um, and we do that through a gifting economy. We really do, because every single person that lives at the Garden of Eden... <sighs> I don't know if you guys have met ever love or not. <laughs> this is not part of my plan. <sighs> Thank you. breath. It solves everything. So I don't know if you guys have met Everlove or not, but you really should. She's just a really amazing woman. And Sarah Miller as well. You know, just two, just two of the people that are a part of the Garden of Eden that dedicate every single day of their lives to helping people every day. That's all they do every day. And I'm, I'm crying right now, for real. And this was not part of my plan. And I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not sorry. I'm grateful. I'm super grateful. I'm grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to be here. I'm grateful for all of you, like I really am. I'm so grateful for all of you because whether you know who I am, whether you know who the Garden of Eden is, whether you've ever checked out one of my posts or upvoted one of my posts, it doesn't matter because every single person here is part of Steemit. You're all part of this economy. You're all part of this gift economy. You're all part of this new potential. We're all a part of it. You know, Ned said, you know, yesterday, steam it doesn't exist without you. Right? And that's true. It doesn't. And we can all participate even more than we are now. Right? And that's, that's part of why I'm wearing this, and that's why I've created all the steam gear that I've, I've created, because every single day of my life, <laughs> I am promoting steam it every day. <laughs> every single day. Every single day I'm promoting steam it. I travel around, you know, I wear caps. I wear skivvies. Um, I saw the <laughs> every single day I'm doing that, and 
Um, you know, I, 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 should, I, I, mean, I just, honestly, I guess I don't even know what to say. We have more than enough of everything, right? And the potential, the potential is here. It's already available. And like I said, you know, at the Garden of Eden, you know, we've got people that are living every single day, like in true dedication and true service to building a new world, to helping people. We feed people, we clothe people, we house people, we educate people. You know, single mothers, you know, we take them and provide them a place where their children can be free and they can actually have time to be with their children. You know, it's like we're doing a lot of really amazing things and I don't want to spend my time talking about how amazing the Garden of Eden is because I want to spend my time talking about how amazing Steam it is because we all care here a lot more about that than we do the Garden of Eden, but they're actually a very similar thing. And that's why when I found out about Steam It, I just, like it just lit up inside of me. I normally hate every, um, like all this shit out there. It's like, it's like disgusting. It's like, oh, God, 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 God. (laughs) You know, just so disgusting. But when I saw Steam It, I was just like, you know, oh my God, I just like felt this, the steam power inside of myself. And it inspired me, and I've been a part of it ever since then. You know, I've been going and going and going. And I was on Steam it even, you know, during some of those times where like, you know, the economy was super low, like what was Steam was like nine cents or something. And, you know, that does suck because, you know, all of us would prefer to make more money than less money, obviously. You know, which is great. But I've never once powered down. I've never once spent a steam. Um, I gave away a ticket um, to Steam Fest because Steam Fest is amazing, and I would have given away even more, you know, if I could have. But even that, I didn't use. I didn't use a single a single steam from any of the posts that I made saying I'm giving away a ticket. Right? I powered all of that up. I powered all of that up because do you realize that the only way the value of steam can actually go up is by powering up. It's the, it's the only way. It's the only way steam can go up. The only way the value of steam can go up is by people buying in. It's the only way. Um, and so I believe in steam it. And I believe in, I believe in the revolutionary potential of steam it. And I am every single day living up to embodying um, my ideals. And steam it really does have the potential to be revolutionary. And, you know, I am just like, I'm just so grateful to be here. And God, Roland, man, and just now I'm thinking about Roland, how cool he is. He is just like such a cool guy, such a Amazing, such an amazing man, Roland. I'm not going to cry for you, Roland, but almost a really, a really, really, really super amazing man. Um, you know, Steam Fest is just, oh, it's like the pinnacle. It's like, you know, it's like the pinnacle of, of, of Steam it for me anyway, it's like, we're all here. I'm just like, I'm so grateful to meet so many of you. Like, there were so many people that I was super excited to meet and a bunch of people I didn't even know I was gonna meet that I have met. And, um, you know, we're here and like, this is like, this is real. Like, this is real. It's real, it's real, it's real. And you know, it's like, I have no problem with, with people powering down because if you wanna feed your family or you want to go on a vacation or you want to do those things, you want to power down because guess what? That's proof that it's real, right? It's real. You can cash that like dollar vigilante. <laughs> oh my God. Like, so his first post, you know, he made like $15,000 or something like that, right? What a great story. And then his second post, he made like $10,000 talking about how he made $15,000. <laughs> Fuck it. Where the fuck is dollar vigilante? Jesus. That guy, man, what a, what a, he just has like a golden touch, you know, he just like touches things and it like turns to gold. 
or you know, crypto, it just turns to steam. You know, he just touches it, he just looks at it, and it turns to steam. Um, but one of the things that he said, right, is people told me it was a Ponzi scheme. You know, I didn't make an assumption either way because, you know, there's no point in doing that. What did I do? I did an actual real life, real world test. That's what I did, which is what smart people do, right? And he traded that steam for Bitcoin and proved, proved that it's not a Ponzi scheme. Proved that it's real. Right? And that was a long time ago. And now we're all sitting here, right? Real, living, breathing people. And in some way or another, we all got here by steam. I mean, like, how many people here have had their lives changed by steam? I mean, I know I have. You know, Surfer Marley yesterday, you know, of what a great story. You know, and what is she doing with that steam, you know, helping, helping other people as well. And even people that are not on steam, their lives are even being changed by steam. Am I uh, past my time rolling? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, I would love to stand up here all day long <laughs> and have all of you look at me. <laughs> okay, so Hilarski, anyone that doesn't know Hilarski? Okay. Hilarski is a great, he's a great man as well. Uh, he's done a lot for, for Steam. He's done a lot for the crypto world. He's done a lot for a lot of people, helped a lot of people make a lot of money. Um, you know, really fantastic. And I've been looking forward to meeting him for a while. And I've been, I was in Lisbon a few days before Steam Fest. And uh, when he came in, you know, I was excited to meet him. And, you know, he's a very generous man. So, you know, him and his wife, uh, who is pregnant now with a, a new child, amazing. Uh, also very generous and loving, uh, invited me and Sarah Miller and Everlove uh, out to dinner. And, uh, you know, we had a great time. But, you know, all these sidewalks here, like, oh, and how amazing are these sidewalks? Like, have you seen these sidewalks? Like, can you imagine the millions and millions and millions of man hours of every one of those little stones? Like, I mean, miles and miles and miles and miles of sidewalks. Oh, my God. What a just truly amazing thing. And I, when I walk down these sidewalks, I'm just like, oh my God, I'm just walking on this amazing <laughs> piece of art. Oh my God, oh my God. So I'm walking down one of these sidewalks with Filarski, and then, you know, like, they're, they're all uneven. You know, they're all uneven, they're all uneven, and <laughs> The heel, the heel of my shoe, just pops off, right? Because it hits one, of the, hits one of the stones as I'm walking, and I'm like, ugh. <sighs> but you didn't you couldn't tell, you know, it still looks good. <laughs> but every time I walk, it's like kind of having like a peg leg. Cause it's like, you know, an inch, an inch lower on each leg. <laughs> so that's the story of the of the shoe. And and of Hilarski. And like I said, I mean I would love to I would love to stand up here, you know, all day and and talk about how, how amazing Steam it is and um, all the ways that it could revolutionize the world. Um, I'd love to stand up here and talk about the Garden of Eden and all the ways that it could revolutionize the world. Um, but ultimately, it all comes down to us. And, and, that, and that's, that's my real point, is that it all, it all comes down to us. In the world right now, there is more than enough of everything. There's more than enough of everything. And we're just maybe us less than other people, but as a humanity, as a species, we're misusing. We're misusing the technology. Right? We're misusing the resources. We're misusing these things. And what we need is a consciousness revolution. And Steemit is part of that because it's built on the blockchain. And the blockchain, oh my God, is the new, it is the new era of the internet. Everything that's important 
on the internet in the future is going to be on the blockchain. And this is a pretty new thing. It's a pretty new thing, and we're all like on the cutting edge. We're on the cutting edge of that. So, if there's anything else that I can say besides Steam it is awesome, is that let's make it more awesome. Yes. Let's really utilize that power for the greater good. For the greater good. Thank you.